YouTube, Komodo Gaming here. Today we're checking out Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This is a game where you can design warships and you take them out, you battle them, and you try to sink the enemies, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go straight into custom battle here. That way we can design our own ship. Uh, you've got all the different nations that you can choose. Uh, I really wanna be the US, so let's go ahead and put our side as the US, and we'll see who we're gonna go against. So yeah, we're gonna do the United States versus the German Empire. So yeah, you can select your ships. Uh, I don't know, what is too many ships? Wait, how many ships can you put in here? Uh, is this gonna destroy the game? What the heck, this is cool. I didn't realize you could do this. Han, why do we have troop transports? I mean, you know what? Let's just see what happens when we spawn this many ships. But yeah, uh, there is a full editor here where you can design your own ships, and we're gonna do that here today. Probably design some sort of battleship. So if you guys wanna see more of this on the channel, you know what to do, hit that thumbs up button, and let's see if it lets me launch with this many ships. Too many ships. <laughs> Wait, 124 over 100, what does that mean? Okay, so we have the United States. We have 11 battleships, 11 battle cruisers, six heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, 10 destroyers, and for some reason, 17 transport ships versus the uh, German Empire, which has eh, five ships. Uh, it's impossible for us to lose, right? All right, so here's the setup. Uh, I'm getting a tiny bit of lag. It's still running pretty well. I couldn't do as many warships as I wanted, but look at this. This is absolutely epic. We're gonna have ship collisions here. How do you cram this many ships in one area? Uh-oh. Uh, oh, are we already firing? Oh, I think I see the poor Germans over here. Hold on, they're way over here. Okay, so we need to command the whole fleet to turn this way and just go run them over because, yeah, they don't have a chance out here. So yeah, here are the German ships, all five of them. Oh. Look at that. Folks, we might not have to do anything in this battle. I think all these rounds are about to come down and, oh, uh, buddy. Where are they gonna land? Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was a couple confirmed hits there. Dude, this is so cool looking. All right, well, uh, we don't even have to design the ultimate ship. We can just spawn in way too many. So what we need to do here, let's zoom out real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and try to command. Can I loop them all? I think I might be able to group them all here. So we're kind of split up. So I can grab my box, I can drag this. And right now they're auto targeting everything over there. I can actually make them go that way. I don't know how the whole fleet's gonna turn to be honest with you. So yeah, they're all gonna start trying to turn here. This was something I probably shouldn't have done. I think, I feel like I spammed in way too many. So I went to check in on the Germans over here and <laughs> I made everything target this way, so yeah, this isn't good for them. Uh, this ship over here is about to go down. Is this like a destroyer? What is this? It's unidentified. I don't think we're close enough uh, to the ship. We're just raining death and terror <laughs> from the sky. Hold on, what about their other ships? This is like their, uh, their battleship is turned. Oh, that is cool again. Really loud too, holy man. Could you imagine being aboard one of these things when those big cannons go off? I imagine the shake is absolutely incredible. By the way, here comes our volley back this way. But yeah, I, I kind of set this first battle up to where we didn't really have to do anything. Uh, the AI is pretty much taking care of everything. Uh, I do want to see a ship go down. I want to see what the sinking looks like. So uh, this one definitely looks like it's on its way to going down. So I'm gonna tell the uh, the whole AI division here, let's go ahead and just start to target this ship here. So all weapons, there they go. Uh, they'll start firing at this one. Oh dear. And if you look up, they all fired. Here come the rounds. Oh dear, those are, uh, they're pretty close. We got a couple really good ships. Can we see what's wrong with this ship? We're still identifying it. The closer it gets, I think the uh, more information we'll get on it. Uh, we're getting some information fed to us on the left side here. But yeah, there's just too much chaos going on right now. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, is it going down? Oh, I think it's going down. Uh, well, the water line's definitely starting to flow over. It's listing to the right. We need a couple more good shots on it. Oh, that was an amazing hit right there. No down. I just want to watch a ship sink real quick. Here comes another massive volley. As you can see, there's holes all over the side of the ship right now. There's so much splashing going up right now. It's slowly sinking here. Let's back off a little bit. Uh, let's go see as that one's going down. This other ship seems to be at a full charge towards us. Uh, this is not the fleet you want to approach. So real quick, I just wanted to show you how much firing was going on here. You can't even see the ships anymore. 
all the cannons have been firing off and it's just creating like a really really thick plume of smoke uh so i think for the most part we're gonna make it to where we're gonna do smaller battles i just wanted to see what a big epic battle would look like uh but yeah i'm still learning about it you've got the different formations for the ships the different types of uh firing they can do depending on what the ship has uh, some have like torpedoes you got a bunch of secondary guns i don't think there's any planes in the game but that would be kind of cool to see in the future. But yeah, as you can see, all my uh, ships are on a full charge towards the German fleet. I don't know how anybody hasn't gone down yet. I need to go look at that real quick. Oh, here we go. We got a ship that's sinking right now. Yep, the poor little German ship's going down. Oh, look at that. Lifeboats are starting to deploy outside of the ship. It would be kind of cool if you could see people walking around. Uh, you could see the oil or the fuel. I'm, I'm gonna assume that's maybe oil that's leaking into the uh, ocean there. That is really cool looking. Yep, that ship is going down. One lifeboat was deployed. I don't know how many crew are aboard this. We don't have any actual uh, information on it, but oh, there it goes. That is cool looking. Yeah, the little lifeboat's uh, going away. There's another lifeboat on the other side, but definitely some of the crew got off. All right, there it goes. She is done. Uh, the other German ships, I actually think are moving away. I think they're in full retreat mode. Except for this little boy out here. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it got separated from the rest of the fleet, and it's getting bombarded by our whole uh, fleet here. So, yeah, that's a thing. It's trying to fire back. Uh, it's just not doing a very good job. So, you kind of saw what a big uh, battle looks like. Let's go into the ship designer, and I'll kind of show you guys what that looks like. All right, so we have an option to design ships, and I think this is where the game is really going to shine. So check this out. We have a blank canvas here. So you can select what type of ship you want. So right now it's set to Super Battleship. Uh, you got like a modern battleship. Uh, you got a one, a uh, modernized dreadnought, and then you've got some others that you can do. Uh, but we're going to do a Super Battleship here today. So we, of course, need to rename it. It is the... Uh, USS Burgerton. Burgerton, right? Burgerton. I think that's how we would spell that. So yeah, uh, you've got several different things you can change. Of course, we want a uh, full crew. Uh, let's go ahead and do standard quarters. I don't know if that really has an effect. I guess there is. I guess the cramp more cramped it is, maybe the more uh, uh, you can put armor on the side. So what we need to do, let's go ahead and place down a main tower. So uh, what if we place this down? Ooh, that is so cool. You can place it kind of wherever you want. Uh, I think we would want this a little bit more towards the front of the ship. So we'll place that down there. And then the next thing we would do, we need a secondary tower and we'll put this towards the rear. I like these a little bit taller looking ones. Uh, we'll place this about uh, right in, well, we need funnels, I think. So maybe in this area here. Uh, so we'll go with the funnels next. Uh, we have a mega funnel. Uh, I need just one. I may only need just one of those. Uh, I was designing a ship earlier that actually required more. Should I do two? Uh, does it really make a difference? Uh, I'll have to look into the actual like logistics here, but we put two funnels on it for funsies. All right, so we have something called a, I think it's a Barbady. Is this where we mount like bigger guns? So you can like almost like, stack them on top of each other i think that's what this is i might even be saying that wrong so here let's put a tall one here in the front and then we'll put another tall one in the back i believe that's what we're doing so when we go to main guns here we'll go to our center line guns uh what's the biggest and baddest oh there we go biggest and baddest gun they have right here four barrels so can we stack that on top that one won't stack on top because it's actually hitting the uh i guess the the little main tower and i stick it in the front there we go so we got that one. Let's put a little smaller cannon up on the uh, the little top mount there. So let's go with the 16. Uh, will this one fit? This one will fit up here. There we go. So we'll put another 16 here. Actually, I can't even fit a 16 in the back. It's coming too close to our second tower. Uh, I guess at any point I could probably move that, right? Okay, here comes a 16 inch. Boom. All right, we'll place that one down. That looks kind of goofy, but you know what? We're going to go with it. Uh, I don't think we can fit another 20 on the back. Can we fit like an 18 four barrel? Uh, nope, that is pushing it. Let's go down. We can do another 16 in the back, potentially. Let's do a three barrel 16. Nope, it is still, yeah, I've got to redo a little bit of this. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stick another center line gun here. Also, we need to think about side guns. So here, we'll do this one there. All right, so we can do secondary guns. Uh, these will go on the side. Let's do the eight inch. Uh, three barrels. Uh, so yeah, you can stick these all over. Actually, that one has very limited movement. We might need to go with smaller ones on the side. Let's go with maybe four inch. 
Uh, we'll do the double barrels. Can I mount these over? Okay, these got a lot better range here. So we'll stick some of these on the side. Uh, stick some. And it kind of mirrors to each side. So uh, we're good to go there. We'll stick another set here. Uh, then you have the casemate guns. Uh, so we'll get some of these built into here. Actually, can I mount any of these? Might not be able to do it to this ship. Uh, these will actually mount into the hole. Uh, what about torpedo launchers? Can we do that? I uh, believe so. Hold on, let's see. Do we have areas for those? Uh, yeah, I can place these kind of wherever I want. So we can do torpedo launchers. Uh, those will launch off the side. I think a lot of times those will go more towards the rear. Uh, can I set another set back here? There we go. So yeah, there's a couple other things we can do. We can uh, switch the components up. Uh, you got different styles of steering. Uh, let's go ahead and just upgrade this thing fully. That way we have the biggest, baddest ship possible. And I think depending on what year you select, uh, you'll have different styles of technology. All right, let's do a heavy armor here, uh, standard. Let's do uh, reinforced bulkheads. This ship all of a sudden is getting kind of expensive. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to actually do anything here since it's a custom battle, but I'm sure in the campaign, you might have to stay under a uh, maybe a standard. All right, so the USS Burgerton, I believe, is ready to go. Uh, this is a fast boy. This thing's going to be some sort of like super battleship, and I'm really, really proud of it. So real quick, I might have accidentally launched the same battle I was doing earlier, but this is what the S USS Burgerton looks like. Uh, in uh, battle here. It's bad because you have all these like serious names like the Michigan, the Vermont, uh, <laughs> and then you got this thing, <laughs> the Burgerton. Uh, we should probably put this in a smaller battle though. All right, so here we are. We have a more reasonable battle going on here. We've got the SS Burgerton, which has way too many guns. Uh, it is currently firing at the, uh, the German forces. It's a little bit more of an even fight here. Uh, looks like they have quite a few destroyers on the outside. Their main battleships are right here in the middle. Actually, what's way over here? Oh, it's a couple more destroyers or those might be cruisers. Anyways, uh, those are turning. So we're going to send our, uh, or keep our battleships in the middle. I'm going to try to send my destroyers over, uh, maybe up the side of them here. So I'm going to select this whole group. Uh, we're going to have them cruise out to this side. That way we can try to flank the enemy here. By the way, I don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, this is just a thing. I'm just clicking buttons. All right, so our destroyers are starting to turn. I have the AI set to uh, target whatever they deem necessary. That way I'm not trying to manually control the uh, firing on each of these ships. But yes, this is awesome. But look at the Burgerton. It's leading into combat here. Everything look okay with it? Uh, you're getting some uh, good stats here on this side. It's showing you like the reload speed of the cannons. Uh, it's about to fire off again. It's gonna do another volley. Uh, I'd like to maybe go head on head with their battleship. You can see that we're actually penetrating. Uh, there's a ricochet also on their uh, fleet over there. Haven't quite identified them yet. Oh man, those big cannons in the front are absolutely ridiculous. Hold on, let's see what we're targeting over here. Uh, looks like we're firing at their, uh, their destroyers. Those are gonna be a little bit harder to hit, I would feel like, with those big cannons. How are their battleships doing? They're moving. Maybe we should start trying to target these over here with the Burgerton. So yeah, uh, I'm over here, I'm gonna right click. So they're gonna turn their cannons and we should start firing at it. All right, so we're shifting fire over here. So here, let's go ahead and grab another one of our groups. Uh-oh, uh oh, we have one sinking. Oh, uh, okay, that's not good. Oh, it's just one of our uh, little ships. We'll be fine. All right, uh, we've got this one group coming to the side. They're starting to turn. We're getting hit over here. What are we getting hit by? Oh, it's that side group. Okay. Yeah, this isn't too good. Here, let's start turning our... Uh, we got the New Jersey over here. Let's try not to run them in a line. I'm going to try to offset them, and then we'll keep firing. All right, so our battleships are starting to turn. That way, we can start uh, turning all the cannons to the side and start firing off, because uh, I feel like these back cannons are not getting used. So you can see the Burgerton starting to uh, go over to the right here. Uh, let's check what we're doing here i mean we're hitting their ships uh we're doing actually some damage back here too oh yep look at that over here there's a fire aboard one of their ships uh ricochet we have a partial penetration over here so yeah it's kind of cool watching some of the rounds like bounce off the uh the battleships and stuff that's pretty insane looking hey the burgerton's almost fully turned Oh, all of its guns are going to be within firing range. This is going to be absolutely epic. All right, so we are still targeting uh, their battleship back there. I mean, maybe we should start trying to take out some of these uh, smaller ones. I just feel like the cannons, they're almost like too big. Yeah, I feel like they would be behind. I guess the AI actually makes up for uh, 
uh, the ship's moving, so maybe it's not a bad thing. There we go. One of their warships is currently sinking. That's good. All right, so that means we're making some progress here. All right, so I've got the other battleship. It's turning back here. Uh, we're trying to just maneuver out a little bit. I feel like we're way too close together. So as you can see, we're spreading fire. Uh-oh, this one little one's over here. This one's kind of by itself. You guys might want to move back towards the main fleet. Oh, look at this. They got another poor little ship going down. So we're taking out a lot of the small ships and then I guess we'll uh, charge forward and uh, try to, oh, uh-oh, we lost another one. Oh, that was the one that was gonna go down anyways. Uh, poor little ship couldn't get back to the uh, the old fleet. Uh, I don't know how that one got so far off. I might not have selected it when I was moving everything and it just kind of went over on its own way. All right, so that one's sinking there. So yeah, as you can see, we're spread out. Uh, we got all of our ships turned sideways now. So all of the guns should be firing at the enemies. Okay, I started speeding up the battle a little bit. We're having a big battleship collision over here. I might have directed them into each other, but I'm having them come up the right side and I'm gonna try to get them fairly close uh, to their uh, little fleet. All right, let's go ahead and slow this back down. Uh, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself when it comes to like commanding all these units. Uh, right now, we still have all these ships coming up the side. Uh, I'm about to swing them really close though. So we'll start to have them advance over here. Uh, they'll all start to turn and they'll be within firing range too. So uh, are those cruisers or destroyers? That's a good question. It should tell me here. Okay, I think those are actually destroyers. I think it's what the DD is. Still learning here, folks, but uh, stuff's happening. All right, so we actually have finally uh, like identified a lot of their ships. And yeah, once you, uh, I guess, get so close, you'll see what kind of guns they have and everything. Uh, but they're pretty much their fleet is crumbling right now. They're actually retreating. At some point, do they actually just surrender? Or what's going to happen here? Because, yeah, look, they're big battleships. They're all going away. Like, they've had enough of this. They've actually left behind a, a couple of their ships. You got some of them sinking out here. So I wonder if we can cut them off. Obviously, this uh, line of destroyers on the side, that's no good because they were going to actually flank them. Um, here, let me grab this group, and we're going to start to cruise up this side. Uh, we should be fast enough, I think, to catch some of those uh, ships. I'm gonna have them turn and try to flank up the side and I'm gonna redirect my battleships. Uh, the SS Burgerton cannot be stopped, so we'll direct those back up that way. Oh man, this one poor little ship's getting uh, absolutely bombarded because it's about the only one in range of our guns right now. Uh, it's turning, it's trying to get away. It's actually turning, is it turning to fire back? Buddy, you might wanna get the heck out of here. It's uh, definitely not a good move. Folks, we have a fire aboard the uh, USS Burgerton. Uh, can we please put this out? Do we have a uh, firefighting technology aboard? That would be kind of embarrassing. Oh, here comes another couple rounds. Those are gonna land, I think, short. There we go. All right, they've got another ship going down. They're down to their, uh, basically their battleships. And yeah, they've retreated so far out. Oh, one of their battleships is really burning down over there. Look at that, Han. Do we have any information about, like, what's going on? So, Engine 3 is damaged, and, of course, obviously, the ship's on fire. So, yeah, you can get some really cool stats here. Uh, let's see. What about their other bat battleship? This one's on fire. This one... This one has damage to the tower, uh, as you can see. All right, enough's enough. I'm grabbing the whole fleet, and we're charging right in. Let's direct all attention to this middle battleship. Let's just take it down. Yeah, you're about to see a volley of uh, fire come this way. Nope, it's already happening. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think we got this one. You know, this was actually a fairly even fight. It wasn't too uh, OP'd on our side. So as you can see, uh, targeting their main battleship was actually a very good thing to do. Uh, float is at 7%. Uh, the structure is at 13%. It's capsizing right now. It is completely engulfed in flames. Uh, yeah, that was their main battleship. So we got pretty much our whole fleet to, uh, <laughs> to target it. That is epic looking. All right, floats down to 5%, 4%. She's about to go down. We're still bombarding it. Uh, we really have to just take care of the ship in front of it right now. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything to this one here. Let's select the rest of our fleet. The SS Burgerton's like pretty much out front now. All right, select you guys. And let's go ahead and uh, target that one real quick and take it out. But yep, the battleship is about to sink. Oh, we can speed up time a little bit. Let's watch this happen. And... Oh, it's float. It's trying to hold on. I guess they're actually trying to fight. Keep it... Uh... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, they were trying to fight it there. And that ship is going to go down. Very, very nice. So yeah, now the whole fleet is turned to target this bad boy. 
Oh, this thing is so screwed. This isn't nearly as big as the battleship. Here, let's speed this up. Let's watch it happen. This isn't going to take long at all. Yeah, it's already taking on water, and its structures are going down rapidly. Is that the Burgerton? Yeah, the Burgerton's heading over there. It's starting to flank it. Holy man, there was a big uh, explosion aboard this ship. All right, that one's going down, so let's make the fleet turn its attention uh, to basically the final ships. The Burgerton has gotten out to a very kind of uncomfortable uh, lead. Uh, this is fine, though. So I'm not 100% sure what we learned here today. We learned that Komodo, uh, we actually commanded some ships and we sank some stuff. We uh, created an awesome battleship over here. It's still getting hit by the remaining uh, ship, but their army's on the run. It's pretty much over here. So if you guys have any ideas for this uh, series and you want to see more of this, comment down below. Uh, thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time.